Okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yes, my red and sort of looking cool like cotton candy ball, but you know how I tell whether they're going to look cool or not? I'll actually wet them a little. I'm going to take a little bit of water to put it on it. And I can tell whether they're going to come out with color. This one did a little. But I want more than this. You know, I want more color. I want more design. I mean, they're not full of color enough. And that's what I'm looking for is some, you know, design. More design in it. So that's what I'm going for. And I'm going to just go ahead and use my leftovers. And I am going to use some metallics today. So here we go. <laughs> yeah, looked over them long enough. Decided, nope. Then the paint will even stick better if it's already painted. Because they're not so smooth, you know. So, I'm going to start with some blue. I think this is phthalo blue. What was it that I used the other day? Is this phthalo blue? Oh no, those was the other ones. This one was the phthalo blue. But so that pretty phthalo blue, <clears throat> but only a little bit. Um, let's see, yeah, and gold, and some. I don't know. Hmm. I'll go with my hunch to start with. So gold. That's what I used today. So it's on the thicker side. So that's really good. And then, let's see. Right here. And then, I'll go with a tiny bit of the blue. It's a little bit. Very tiny. Then I want to go with a little bit of copper. Just a little bit. There we go. So I think that's good. And then I have some thick black. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm just going for it. <laughs> A little bit. There we go. Now, hopefully, I don't have too much gold in there. I think I do. But we'll see. <laughs> oh, I should have wet the bulb first, I suppose. See, that one didn't get quite in that spot. I'll pour a little gold on there. Flip it around. I truly believe this works. Getting it wet. It's been working for me, except for that spot there. That didn't get. So I have to really look underneath. Goodness. Oh, 
That's cool. So that is the bomb. I love it. Hold on. Just getting those bare spots. Oh. That's always the bummer part with vases or anything you pour on, getting those bare spots. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So that's cool, guys. Okay, I love that one. See, that's cool. All right, so I got this left over here. And we'll do something different now. Let's see. How about... Hmm. Some... Got to use this thick paint because that's the problem. Got to use it a little thicker. I will do some. What do I have over here? Red. Let's do red, green, and black. How's that sound? Let's try that. So here's some. That looks pink. Hold up, that's pink. Well, I don't have enough red. So we're going to use this pink. I think this was that magenta. Yeah, this is that Liquitex basic magenta. So we'll go pink. And <clears throat> did I already try that? I think I did with turquoise. Let's do the pink and green. And green. That was pretty thick. And then black. Just a little bit running in there. There we go. This one's so cool. Yeah, let's see what this one does. Oh, I gotta get it for the paint. Sorry, Tina. Say goodbye. <laughs> she was telling me she liked it. Artistically random. Well, I put some water on it and didn't show up too well, so. Then she. That's how I tell. Yeah, loving this one. Hope you guys are seeing that. Oh my gosh, let me turn it. Oh. Look at that. I'm not going to turn it. To see it when it's glass tomorrow. I shouldn't have messed with it. That's good enough, I suppose. There we go. There, it's completely centered. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I'm missing up paint. Oh, you guys ain't even seeing it. Oh, man. Oh, it's the bomb, too. Need to put a little bit more color in there. 
a little bit more pink, a little bit more green. What a bummer. I didn't get you guys to see that one, but that's okay. Yeah, this is not covered all the way, even in the back here. I didn't have enough. Look at all the cells popping up on that. Now that's pretty, too. So let's see if this turns out the same. Well, I'll just say goodbye to that. I can't see. The camera's in the way. That was sure pretty the first one. <laughs> oh, bummer. It's still pretty, but I liked it the way it was to cover up those spots. Oh, it's turning too red now. <laughs> it ain't working out too well. Let me try this again. Okay, so I need the same way I did it in the beginning. The pink, then the green. And then just a little black. That was so pretty. Still pretty, but I wish I could have left it alone, but it wasn't covered all the way. Here we go. There we go. That's what I want. There we go. That's pretty. Okay. So, hopefully she's doing that all the way around. Alright, these are the cool ones. Let's take a look. Well, of course it's going to settle. But this is thick paint. And they should not change much. They never do, as long as they use this consistency. Straighten this bulb. Oh, that's straight. Ah, those things bug me sometimes when they don't get there right. This one's loaded with cells. Still not completely centered. Oh, that's better. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll take the phone down. This is so cool. That one is so bomb. That one's got cells on the bottom and everything. Look at that. That one's so pretty, too. I'm going to turn it around real slow. Look at that. Oh, man. Definitely, if you're going to do this, guys. Take it from me, I've been experimenting for what, how long? A week or two now. Use thicker paint. Thin paint does not work. 
Oh gosh, look at all those cells. Oh, this one's so cool. Oh man, look at that. I'm blowing on it so that it dries faster. <laughs> this one is covered with cells. of both of them. Wow. That's pretty. Oh man. These are gorgeous. Super cool. That one is just like really awesome. That pink and green looks good together. Look at that one. With the blue in it. Okay, so these are keepers. No doubt about that. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will definitely gloss these tomorrow and show you on my next video. Before I do my next video. So I really am loving this one. And this one I think this one actually a little bit more just because it's gorgeous with that gold and that little bit of copper and black it's beautiful you know that would be a beautiful painting too I need to remember that what was that gold copper and that phthalo blue okay take it easy guys thanks for watching have a good one. Bye-bye.